Why hello there fellas. Welcome back to another video. My name is Jamel. Glad to have you guys here today. And I figured, you know what? There's been a lot of noise in in the social media lately uh, regarding Argos, Black Border Society, MetaZoo Games. And Argos, Argos is a pretty nice dude. I've actually talked to him. He's actually given me some pointers and several things. I don't have any issue with Argos. I don't know much about Black Border Society. Um, but I'm kind of just going to dig into it, you know, and, and again, shout out to Argos for trying to keep the peace and, and, and all that. As you can see here, it seems like Black Border Society and what was that other person like Cryptid TCG have been basically blowing up Argos in the last few weeks. I'm sure, you know, that is very distressing and just annoying. And, you know, I, I, I can I can relate to that at some level. And so hopefully this doesn't get any worse than this, but let's talk about it so if you guys can listen to my voice i am a little sick today i apologize if i don't sound what like what i usually do but let's kind of get this get this uh, ball rolling so there's there's quite a bit of drama going on right now with the blackboard society because of this post right here as you can see here blackboard society is basically saying that they will have pre-orders that actually went live uh yesterday i believe um for according to them below msrp now the problem with this as you can see here from metazoo games themselves at the very top we got caution everyone this is breaking our pre-order rules and those stores providing blackboard society with allocation are going to have their invoices canceled proceed with extreme caution when placing pre-orders with companies like at blackboard society breaking our distributor rules okay so this is a problem right and the, the problem stems from the fact that it's kind of a it's kind of a catch-22 one i don't know how metazoo games is going to find out who is supplying black border society with boxes even if black border society was getting boxes for distributor level pricing or like lgs pricing i don't know how they would how they would find that out i mean I, I just don't know unless they were sent like some sort of like cease and desist letter and then it became a legal thing and even then I don't even know if this can be a legal thing I, I don't know I'm just basically reporting on what's what's going on out there right so blackboard society claims that they what they actually do and again I don't have any I don't know anything about blackboard society i literally started following them recently like a few days ago once all this started to pop off just because i was like what the heck is going on but from my understanding blackboard society claims that they don't even they're not even a distributor they're not even an lgs what they simply do is they they buy boxes in the secondary market whether that be ebay or mercari or i'm assuming heck maybe even lgs's and they resell them at a loss in a basically quote unquote community move, right? So here we see uh, basically what they what they just posted a few hours ago. Blackboard Society is not a partner, distributor, or affiliated with MetaZoo Games in any way. We are a fan site. Now the problem with this is, uh, as you can see, like what can MetaZoo and what can the partners do about this, right? How will MetaZoo even be able to block them from purchasing boxes on the secondary market and reselling them at, at whatever pricing they want without getting into like legal like legal battle? And even then, I don't know if there's any grounds for something like this, right? But at the same time, you know, I think this is coming from a caution, like a cautionary standpoint where Argos and MetaZoo Games, because Argos is arguably one of the biggest metazoo partners that uh metazoo has right like actually legitimate metazoo partner he has great bundles really good deals he always always delivers his product safely i've bought from argos myself before right so he is a big a big partner and i just i don't know i don't know what they would be able to do about it like Argos is it basically sent out a PSA, I believe, in his Discord channel. And again, I'm not in his Discord. And in fact, I should probably join it. But um, he sent out a this message over here, which says, Friendly Cautionary Advisory, the Instagram Discord group known as Black Border Society is openly participating in map pricing violations and pre-order street day violations for MetaZoo UFO. And they have ignored all reasonable requests to seize activity. 
Any retailers associating with them risk being banned from access. Any retailer supplying them will be banned from access. Any person promoting them on Instagram or elsewhere risks banned from access. By acting in this way, Black Border Society is risking your well-being by association. Please, please, please understand the risks of associating with this group. Be safe, be well, have fun. UFO is almost here. So, this basically sparked a whole outcry <laughs> uh, from the Black Border Society. And a lot of people, I mean, granted, these people follow Black Border Society. And it's like their own little group of sorts where they basically, and, and I'm going to say it, like they basically shit on MetaZoo and they're shitting on Argos left and right. So, Black Border Society said, as someone who represents MetaZoo Games, this is sad. This is called cyberbullying. No questions about it. I am not a partner or a distributor. And Black Border Society is doing nothing wrong. So uh yeah so like this is this is kind of crazy that that this is happening uh now the and it, again it all stems from the fact that these pre-orders that these pre-orders that they're touting were going to be 89.99 and it requires a 10 percent deposit right now obviously the problem with this is that you're basically paying black border society a 10 dollars upfront fee to reserve your box without them actually having the product in hand right which again it's kind of like you're it's not safe to do if you don't know like you know like other companies will take pre-orders for the full amount and they're legitimate reputable lgs's you know other companies and in regards to metazoo they like companies and lgs's can't even start taking pre-orders until next week on the 14th so that is kind of what is happening. So this is kind of the big, like all the big drama going on right now between Black Border Society, Metazoo Games, and then Argos himself is in the middle of it because again, Argos is arguably the biggest Metazoo supporter and LGS uh, partner with Metazoo. So of course, he's gonna be embroiled in some drama eventually because of his status that he, like in, in the Metazoo community, right? And this is just kind of nuts to me. And and it goes back to the question of what can MetaZoo Games actually do about this? Because the problem is all these people that are giving them the, the $10 or $9 the deposit, right? Once UFO releases, two things can happen. <laughs> One, they get away with it. And uh, they basically give y'all, the people who ordered, I should say, they get you guys get the boxes for ninety dollars plus shipping or whatever, and they take a loss. And I'm assuming that either two things that this is probably some form of really big marketing, like scheme or not not marketing scheme, but like you know that old saying like even like what is like uh, bad news is good news or something. I can't remember what it is, but basically like whether you you get good news or bad news or, or bad press or good press, regardless, it's press. <laughs> So that can lead to some problems. So let's say they do it this time for the $10. They get all the product. And I think the problem also stems from the fact that there's going to be an overabundance of boxes. Uh, LGSs and partners have to adhere to the 140 MSRP per box for the first two weeks. After that, they can drop it down. I think they said 20%. Um, but that's the lowest they can go as an actual LGS and partner. The problem will stem from the fact that if LGSs and other partners decide to go cheaper, then they're risking losing the 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 partnership but due to the like the hundred thousand box print run and it like like if blackboard society pulls this off and they actually say yeah screw we're taking a loss then more and more people are going to keep are going to keep pre-ordering with them and so maybe one day they just run away with the money and again i'm not saying that that's what's going to happen i'm not saying you know i'm not trying to say that that's what they are a lot of people are actually backing black border society on this and it's kind of crazy with all this stuff going on i don't know it's just like this is ridiculous like if you if, if you guys are like and like if you all have seen this on instagram it's getting pretty pretty nasty like to the point where even metazoo games like posted like this is a, and it, like they posted a picture of like black border society and they say this is a great example of what not to do <laughs> so i don't know and then obviously over here you got black border society basically saying that MetaZoo Games is bullying them. And so people are like just going nuts, man. Like, and again, like the fact that Argos is embroiled in all this, I don't even know. Like, 
the man is great. Like the man is a good dude. Like I, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like this, this is literally just like, hey, be careful, don't risk your money. And people are basically shitting on him, and they're shitting on MetaZoo games. And you know what? That's that's just sad. Like. And if we go here, like Argos even says, I'm just trying to keep my community safe. And Blackboard says, you are alienating a free market with your slander. You have no right to post this. You are cyberbullying a fan site. And I, I just, I don't get it. Like, this is basically blowing up so, in my opinion, like, so out of nowhere. And, like, even Argos is like, I just don't want my people to get banned. It's a safety warning. I don't have any power over banning or access or prices. Like, why are you calling me out here, bro? Like, come on. Like, it, you know, like, this is nuts. And so, yeah. And then there, here's MetaZoo saying, this is not misinformation. Blackboard Society is selling pre-orders they do not have. And those stores providing them with access to these pre-orders will be banned from allocation for MetaZoo. If you're interested in getting MetaZoo product from stores with guaranteed allocation, please check our partners listed on our website. Thanks. And so... This has just kind of been a, a thing over the last few days, and it's it's only getting worse. And I think Black Border Society is basically riding this wave of of like negative press, and people are like coming to their defense because of their MSRP pricing, and like I, I like they're below MSRP of ninety dollars, which is what the MSRP was of boxes originally, if I remember correctly. And so yeah, guys, like this is crazy. This is nuts. No, I am not affiliated with Black Border Society, like. Please, please, like, don't don't think I am. I'm just, like, basically reporting on some of the news and and stuff going on in the community right now. And basically also PSA, like, guys, I don't know who Black Border is. You know, I, I don't know how the pre-orders work. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't place a $10 pre-order hold on product because, again, there's, there's going to be so many of these boxes out in the wild that eventually the prices will come down. It doesn't matter if they're partners. It doesn't matter... If they're LGSs, if an LGS is basically needing money, and if, if it means like, hey, you know what, MetaZoo isn't moving or whatever, and they decide to sell for under MSRP, then they just lost, they just lost, they just lost out on future MetaZoo allocations, but the prices will come down, and so that's that's just kind of what what's going on. Uh, I don't know what else to say, guys. Like this has already been running for like 13 minutes, and I'm still kind of in shock at everything that's going on. Just because I, I did not expect all of this, like, here it is. Like, I want to clear up any confusion the public has uh, with all the recent comments are swirling from Metazoo. We are a fan site. That's it. We're not partners, not distributors. And again, I guess the overarching question that I keep asking to myself is, is there any legal ramifications that can come from this? Does Metazoo have the power to basically tell somebody, no, you can't sell our product for cheaper, even if you're not a distributor, even if you're not an OGS. If you're just like, for example, a regular Joe Schmo selling an item on eBay for cheaper than you bought it. Is there any legal recourse that they can actually do to stop this? Because if they're not an OGS and they're not a distributor and they're just buying boxes for more and selling for cheaper, basically the whole Robin Hood thing, but like they're, they're not really robbing the rich, they're paying they are the rich and then they're just giving it away so i guess they're, they are like robin i don't know what whatever like if that's the case like what can they do like is this going to be something that happens each time and if that's the case then like what's like if they keep doing this then what's stopping people from going there every time right and so like we'll see how this unfolds i will keep you guys updated on what i find out again i'm assuming that metazoo will have to do some sort of like cease and desist letter if that's even possible so and I'm sure, again, I'm sure Blackboard Society will probably post that up to let people know. But, again, I will, uh, I will keep you guys, uh, I will keep you guys informed. So, thank you guys for stopping by and listening to me ramble about this random MetaZoo drama that, unfortunately, has Argos embroiled. And if you guys are not aware, they also, like, TC, Cryptid TCG also had Argos embroiled in some other drama, like, a couple weeks ago. And now it's just a bunch of memes in the Discord. And, like, I, I, I don't know. But, <laughs> anyways, guys, appreciate y'all. I will see you on the next one. Oh, also, shameless plug. Follow me on Instagram. I'm actually on Instagram. I, I very rarely post stuff on there. But, yeah, collectible.stonks. Follow me on there. Appreciate you guys.